Hello guys, uh, today we're gonna continue the tutorial. So uh, what we're gonna do today, it's uh, finally we're gonna do the correction of the navigation. So I know I get a lot of requests about this, so this is the time. And But we're gonna start with the Redux Persist stuff because uh, what happening, it's if we don't persist, we're gonna need to log every time. So that's gonna be a lot simpler. So start, uh, time to start. So what we're gonna do first, it's to do a yarn add a Redux uh, persist. So Redux persist is just a library we're gonna help us to persist with the async storage, uh, uh, async storage of the React Native. So <clears throat> when that's gonna be done? Perfect. Now we're good to go. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna start inside the store. So uh, just jump inside the store of the uh, of Redux, and we're gonna uh, first thing we're gonna delete this line of code. We don't need that anymore because we don't use anymore this dev tool here. After that, here what we're gonna do is we're gonna import uh, auto uh, from Redux persist. We're gonna import auto rehydrate. Yeah. After that, here we're gonna change uh, inside to be compose, and at the end here we're gonna add auto rehydrate like this. So finally, we add this to the uh, the stack of the compose. So we apply the middleware, and after that, we have to reiterate. After that, we need to jump inside the the main that GS right there, and we're gonna set up the app to uh, uh, iterate over the async storage and take the persist uh, stuff. So here at the top, we're gonna import from uh, React Native. We're gonna import async storage. After that, we're gonna Import something called UI Manager 2. We're gonna I'm gonna show you what to do after this. To that end, we're gonna import uh, from Redux Persist Persist Store. Yeah. So here we're gonna just set up. It's really simple. It's just UI Manager. You just forget all the lattice um, uh, stuff coming in from React Native, it's just for be sure animation enable XP mental if yeah like that I think I'm okay I'm gonna say UI manager dot set to be true Think I'm gonna be good. Perfect. Enable. Yep. Yeah. No typo. Perfect. After that, we need to set up that inside the the app here. We're gonna set up a, a, a state called ready false inside the component in mount. Right here, we're gonna do persist store. We we'll take uh, an argument of the store. So you take the store of Redux. After that, you take an object here where we tell uh, we uh, give him him which storage because you can use. Redux persists with um, uh, the web, so you can use the local storage. Here, I'm gonna set to that whitelist. So finally, with whitelist, an array of item we want to uh, persist. Here, uh, the reducer. So here, I'm gonna say I want to persist the user reducer. After that, here, I'm that uh, we're gonna have uh, callback here, and uh, this is where we can say this is a set state ready to be. True, like that, and we close it here. So that here, the only thing we need to do it's here. If the font is not load or this that state that uh, ready, the app not gonna work. And now you see, because you remember I was logging, I did some stuff, so that's why maybe you you're gonna need to click again on Google. Now I get the error coming from the tab bar because. I get my reducer filled by Redux process now. So now what I'm gonna do, it's we're gonna change this stuff here of the tab ball to make it working. Here what we done, it's, I, I wasn't really, the uh, I didn't do a lot of React navigation before and uh, now I have more experience with it and I know now I don't want it anymore to go inside the class like that. So I'm gonna make the change right inside, finally, the uh, home navigator right here. So this is where we're gonna make uh, all the navigation stuff, and that's gonna be, uh, 
much more better. That's going to be much more easy for us after that to, to work with. So you're going to see how simpler that can be. So the thing we're going to do first thing is we're going to set up the home screen. So we're going to see navigation option here. It's going to be a uh, function here. We return an object. And what we're going to do is we're going to say header style. So finally, if we go back, so I'm going to say if we go back to the home screen, you see what happening is con style was like that. But now we do header style. So mm, I'm going to close this. I'm going to close that. So we have a lot of window. Yeah. So now I'm going to do header style now is equal to a background color of color red colors. So that replaces finally this stuff here. After that, I'm going to say header right. So don't need anymore to just do, uh, we don't do anymore right, we do header right. Now I'm going to copy paste this line and I'm going to make it here like that. At the top, after that, I'm gonna yes, then say uh, I need to use uh, React and but so I'm gonna import React and now I'm gonna import a library I've created with uh, my team. It's uh, coming from App and Flow, App and Flow Touchable. So it's just a library. It's just a helper to help you with the Touchable opacity, Touchable uh, without feedback and everything. You just need now to import Touchable from uh, the library and now you don't need anymore to import a treble opacity and then feedback you're gonna see in one moment how we can do this then I'm gonna import material icon from expo perfect and now I'm gonna import style it's gonna be easier now look what we can do current so this is the add button remember this is the add button at the top right I'm gonna say add button equal style and I'm gonna wrap my touchable component now I'm going to just say I want a merging right of 10, like that. It's a CSS. Now I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to make use, I'm going to replace this and I'm going to replace right there. But I need to provide which kind of feedback I want. So I want opacity. You want a highlight, you just write here. If you want no feedback, you say none. And by default for Android, this is the native one. After that here, we want to have access to the navigate. So that's gonna come from here, we have access to now navigation. So now I can do navigation, that navigate. Perfect. So now after that, what we need to do, so now that's gonna work, that's gonna be at the right, but now I'm gonna receive the error about the tab bar icon. Tab bar is not defined because we need to change the way of tab bar. How tab bar work, now it, that was like that. So what I'm gonna do, it's here, I'm going to copy paste this uh, uh, that bar here and now look how oh, that's going to change it's uh, now that's going to be I'm going to just import font awesome at the top now that's going to be that bar icon like this and I think I did a, a bad ID because of yeah yeah, like that, so I'm gonna just, yeah. Perfect, and now what I got here, in the spectic token, I think I have one much. Yeah. And I think I missed one curly bracket. What I did wrong, sorry guys. Well, we finally we're gonna write it. Tab bar icon, sorry guys. <laughs> here we're gonna take the thing colors coming and I'm gonna do here like this. After that, I'm gonna do font awesome. So now I'm gonna need to uh, import it. Top. After that, here I want to pass name. So that's gonna be the own size 35, uh, 25. And that was the colors of thin colors. And like that. So now, this is all you do now. You don't do any more tab bar, colon. And uh, yes, so here, did I miss something? Tab. Yeah, so this is tab bar icon. 
tab bow icon. Perfect. So now I'm going to remove it from here. Now, yes, and told us we need to remove that. We don't need that anymore. And need that anymore. Now, you see, we got it inside the notification. <clears throat> so now, time to make the same for the notification. Notification is going to be easy. We do almost the same. Come here, navigation option. And then. Uh, and a navigation, uh, not navigation, but notification screen. That was much more simpler. Now you see I have again the background color, red color. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna say cont and nav bar, nav bar default style. Gonna be equal to an object and I'm gonna have a background color and I'm gonna put it red uh, color, red color. So now I can just reuse this um, object and Right here, like that. So now on the notification screen here, I'm gonna have header style, navigation nav by default. After that, what do we have? Oh, okay, tab bar icon again. Copy, paste this one, because now I know that's gonna work. This one is material icon, and the name is notification. Perfect. I'm gonna remove this one, and now I'm gonna save this one. And now we are in the profile screen. Can we delete this two line? Perfect. Profile screen, almost the same. So now we can copy paste this navbar navigation, came here, and now just change the profile screen. Sorry, that was icon circle. So now if I save, I need to remove this one. And now can remove this two line. And now, as you can see, now it's working. Okay, and now I just need to change, uh, I think, I'm gonna just take back my ID because I delete my database as like a newbie and I just, <laughs> I just, uh, my ID is not working anymore. So I'm gonna just take back my ID. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to EPI and I'm gonna just change my ID. You don't need to do that. Perfect. Now it's still now it's working. Now I have my uh, notification profile screen, actually. But now here I have an error. It's my um, add button right there at the top. It's not there. So what happening? I'm gonna put a background color of yellow. Oh, I see feedback. Sorry, that was opacity here. Yeah, but uh, what did I did wrong? That's circle. Yeah, I have no error at all. So it looks really strange. Yeah, so guys, finally I find I did right uh, like that th, but this is right h t. Like that. So now it's working, but now I'm gonna remove the background color because that make no sense. <coughs> now if I click, I'm gonna get the error because now I get an error because of the na the navigator here. We need to change the green meetup because if I go to the green meetup screen now, I have this thing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the navigator. And now I'm gonna do almost the same, but not the, almost, but the same stuff. So I'm gonna do here navigation option. And now here, what I'm gonna do, it's uh, this one gonna take again the function, sorry, like that. And you're gonna take the navigation uh, props. And here, what we're gonna have, it's header style. So here at the top, we're gonna import the colors. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make here import colors from uh, constant and colors. I'm gonna say background colors colors that red color. Yep, perfect. 
that I'm gonna add a title style of color color that white colors so that was the style of title so as you can see they all make it camel k so you don't have any more an object inside an object so and now here I'm gonna do now here we're gonna uh, use the material icon because if we look in the cream meetup now they use the material icon here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import material icon at the top I'm gonna import my library touchable from uh, App and Flow Touchable. I'm gonna import um, style component. I'm gonna create a, a close button component. So it's just a style component. I'm gonna put the touchable in. So when you do the wrap here, like like here, finally you keep all the props. You finally you just style this thing, so you don't need any more to inline style. So here the only thing we in one, it's a margin left of ten. That's it. So here after that I can see headers left oops not like that but like that the close button remember we need to pass a feedback and we want the feedback of opacity so I'm gonna have an on press even that's gonna be equal to the navigation that uh, go back after that here I'm gonna pass the material icon and the name it's close color of white and size of 30 and now I get yes in saying I need to have a react perfect now if I say that don't gonna work because I need to remove it from here I'm gonna remove this stuff here uh, and I need this title Can remove this stuff here so now if that work perfect yeah this is what we want so I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna remove this that's why I love ESLint and now the only thing I think we miss it's here we have the title create a new meetup create a new meetup and I put the uh, thing that was level style Uh, no, so so here inside the React Navigation docs, I just see it's either title style, so I make a typo, so it's not uh, right here, it's not label style, it's either title style. So now if that work, perfect. Now it's white, so everything is supposed to work. Now, hello. And now if I jump to the description, perfect, like before. So we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. So that was just for the correction of the navigation. So after that, we're going to jump back in the uh, back end and do a lot more of logic and make uh, more authentication stuff. I mean, not authentication, but make the route more private and etc. So that's the plan for the next episode. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know how this episode was. Uh, just hit me in the comments and I hope you enjoy please share if you think that can be uh, good for someone else and please subscribe have a good night bye